I, for the life of me, cannot get rid of these hiccups. I don't think I've had hiccups in, like, two years. Like, I forgot what they feel like. I was like, what the hell? Like, I started trying, like, old, excuse me, old remedies. I remember it being like, wait, this isn't working. So, I'm kind of stuck hiccuping right now. And, um, and I really have to record this right now. So, screw it. Uh, episode 16 of... FGO Babylonia with hiccups in between uh last time oh things just went down the drain um you know the whole thing with Gorgon concluded pretty quickly which you know I, I heard people were disappointed about um and I, I can see that being the case given you know the whole build up for that but uh they certainly could have given it a bit more of the of the episode um but uh, it was it was really shocking uh, overall because that ended quickly, and then now we have something else completely entirely different happening. Like Gorgon dying awo awoken the actual the actual Tiamat, which is classified as a, I guess she is classified as a beast, um, which is so OP that is not even like summonable in FGO. So. Pretty pretty crazy stuff. We got the creepy ass the Lamu going around. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I haven't uh I haven't seen their name since I watched that episode in uh what's it called? And then people sent me the link to like what they actually were saying, because apparently it was just like jumbled up Japanese. Um, obviously. <laughs> but um Yeah. It was a lot more creepy. They already creeped me the fuck out, but it also like in a weird way gave some insight into into their behavior and kind of like their sadistic ways and getting pleasure and w from you know these people suffering and like just very like coldly examining like their guts you know as they killed them and like other fucked up shit um Siduri Siduri got turned into a, la a Lamu and um oh man even during like me when I saw that video of the Lamu's uh speech uh subbed, it was her sa trying to say uh it was either Fujimaru or, or Itsuka like she was she said his name and he picked up on that and he also saw like the way the Lamu moved and, and he thought of Siduri and that was Siduri so pretty pretty crazy realization there um some pretty uh irreversible changes happening uh it was also explained. Explain to me why Merlin disappeared in that, like, he was actually, like, preventing, like, actively preventing uh, the real Tiamat, which is now Awoken. He was, like, delaying that, and I guess he already knew about it. Um, I guess he didn't realize that this was gonna, gonna happen by defeating Gorgon until, like, Kingu, like, spoke to him there. Um, I guess that wasn't really explained. That, yeah, they didn't really explain why he disappeared here in the anime, but that was uh that was told to me what that was. Um These damn hiccups, man. You see what I'm dealing with? It just won't go away, but whatever. Uh yeah, let's see let's see what where this goes now, man. I don't know how the hell like they fi fix this or go about like solving this. I, I don't know. We'll see if Gilgamesh has like any plan or idea. I know we're over here, like, trying to... Uh, excuse me. Trying to, trying to save people and to just take the fight to the Lamu themselves, but... um, Oh, shit. How could I forget as well? The Lamu straight up killed uh, Kingu. They killed Kingu. Pick up. They killed Kingu, stabbed him in the back because he came flying in. He was like, yo, wow, you guys are disgusting. You guys shouldn't do that, but whatever. I'm... I'm still going to lead you, so let's go. And then they were like, nope, you're boring. Kill, kill, kill. They didn't give a shit. Um, even though they're, like, essentially siblings in a weird in a weird sense. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at. And I don't know where the hell we're going to end up. So, apparently there's a, a lot more to see with this show. This is only, only episode 16 of apparently, like, what, 24, 25 episodes. So, we'll see what the hell the rest of this is going to be. Because I thought it was going to be mostly fighting Gorgon, but... You know, that went came and went very fast. You know, they pulled a very uh very big switcheroo here, so let's see what happens. Beginning the episode in three, 
two, one. I, I hiccuped on the one. Oh, boy. Let's hope I can stay focused here. Oh, gosh. Ugh. It's so gross. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he's very aware and he's okay with it. Whoa. And who knew Tiamat was another waifu? Okay, Kingu, so is Kingu okay, I guess? Them stabbing him di didn't do anything? It's like, oh, it's his merely a flesh wound. Um, Tiamat's my mother. Yeah. I don't know why they showed that. I mean, I guess to j just show that he's, like, gonna be loyal no matter what, or I don't know. Did that happen before he gets stabbed in the back? Maybe. I mean, that's probably the case. I don't know what's going on anymore. You know, at this point, I just kind of like ro roll with things when it comes to the Nasuverse. I just realized <laughs> Okay, I was going to say like if the opening was a little different, but I don't think it was. I think I heard that the ending changed though, so we'll we'll see. Oh, yep, that was before in, in uh, that very beginning scene they showed. Okay, so, yep, bye, Kingu. Get fucked. I guess they showed him saying that before the show, just how fu fucked up it was. That he completely accepted his role. And he was still thrown to the side. Wow. Now we're getting, now we're getting subs for them. Oh, it's such joy for them. Whoa. Whoa. Signal of the Holy Grail. Ah, wait, the fuck? Now the Lamu have it? Right. We did find that. We did find that out. So. Whoa. What the fuck? It's evolving. Whoa! All right, now that's true nightmare fuel. It can fl it can fly now. And each star's bullets are doing nothing to that. Come on, goddesses! God, they're not doing shit to him. Run, Kingu! I don't know why I'm rooting for you, but. You know, you shouldn't go out like that. I guess it's got pretty sad that you're a, you feel you're a puppet and you're okay with it and now you got completely fucked. Nothing. Damn. These things are so it's like uh And like the wet mouth noises, like this, their sound design is also awful as well. Well, in a good way. Uh huh. 
This wasn't how it was supposed to be. Yeah. And oh shit, fuck you guys. It's the smartest thing he's done. Yikes. Damn. We get a noble phantasm in the house. Huh. Oh, yeah, or fucking dinosaur. Oh, plural. Fuck it, bro. Yeah, you got to go after that one. Come on, man. Yikes. <laughs> Even though I know I was a fucking puppet and I, there was no love or I still had hope. Ah, oh, poor Kingu. Wow, they see him as a defect. Holy shit. I wonder if he's going to turn. Now he's let go of that hope. Yeah, I know. But there's no reason to fake cancer past the real thing, right? Fate. Oh. It's been his thing the whole time. It's all been for mother. Been kidding yourself, man. And here's the result. So what do you do now? Huh. Is anyone going to save him? Gil, maybe? I don't know. I'd be, I'm being very optimistic. Zoinks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, shit. Who did save him? Who was it? Someone strong. Wait, what? Oh, shit. It was one of the Lamu. Now they just killed each other. Yo. So much for perfect new beings. Yeah, he saved him. Whoa. Wait, what? Wait. Wait. Dearest friend. Oh. Is this Siduri? Whoa. It totally is her. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Uh. I mean, that was great for Kingu to hear, but how fucking sad. I mean, fuck living that existence, but, oh, poor c -Diddy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, talking to him like he's in Kidu, like he's Kingu.
Uh Yeah, you can't even accept it. Yikes. Cause yeah, he like he feels he knows, but he didn't really because he's you know he's Kingu, but he has Inkilu's body, so it's like he retains some degree of recognition. <laughs> enough to torture himself mentally, so that's fucking fantastic. RIP C duty. Holy shit. Yeah, let's catch this flying nightmare fuel fuel before it delivers the holy grail to the most powerful being, apparently. Wow. Nice. Woo! Slam it. Dear, I thought Quetzalcoatl had the slam a jamma moves. Yeah, I know, right? Right, taking after you. Where the fuck did he go? Hey, you shitter. Where are you? Oh, it's Ushiwakamaru. She's here. What fuck? This is awful timing. Wow. Oh, this is mud corrupted Ushiwakamaru. I've been waiting for this, bro. Emerge from the mud of the Holy Grail. Oh my gosh. Woo! See those red lines? Yeah, she is long gone, buddy. Unless she's not. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, shit. On the inside, the same as them. I mean, yeah. What else to do? Damn it, Ishtar. All right, Kets versus Dark Ushi. Let's go. This is fucking wild. I almost forgot about, like, I've been hoping for her to come back. But this kind of sucks. Ooh, Mashu. Them spins. Oh, man. That double drop kick is fucking awesome. Woo! After image. Fujimaru, I wish you looked a little concerned sometimes whenever ever a servant's charging at you. I mean, you have supreme confidence in your servants. Oh, great job, he's shot in. Whoa! Wait, what? The hell? I was going to say, like, that was, that would have been way too fast. Holy shit. So what, yeah, what happened? So if she wasn't restored or revived, oh. She did have an ability that cloned herself, right? Yikes. <laughs> I 
Oh, and there's her personal shit coming out. Oh. Huh. So you got to obliterate them. Uh, again, can we get a noble phantasm in the house? So who, who can help us? Let's go. The nerve of you, the diskettes. Well, whoa. Oh, fuck. Well, this is a safe for work mana transfer. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Aye, aye, aye. Got him, coach. Uh. Yeah, that thing is long gone. Oh, yep. There it was. Well, I guess it's over. Uh, good series, everyone. Time to bow down to our new waifu. Oh, Ushi. Hurts to see you like that, but... Damn. I mean, the fact that she just acknowledged that pr she did have that dark part of her, but... Don't we all? That was just the darkest part of her, just made manifest. What is this, Star Wars? Tch! Overlooked that fact. Three sixty large bows. I don't know what that means, but good on you. Damn. Okay. Nah. Never touch the mud. Amino Gias. Huh. Oh. Well, shit.
And it's over. We got to make it to Solomon. Luckily, we have the greatest protagonist ever, ever for the job. Whoa, ultra, ultra, ultra class. More than seven times the grail. Well, that makes sense. Birth the world of Mesopotamia. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, boy. Of course he can. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? So they're going to straight up go confront her? Holy shit. We're going straight to the source. We're like, fuck the Lamu, you know, the ocean's rising, like, we're just going to go. Ooh, straight into the storm. There she is. Will she talk to them? Or is she just a pure force right now? Huh. Huh. Yikes. Wonder if Kingu's gonna meet them there. Hmm. Well. Ah. New ending. Nice, English and Japanese. Woo. Nice art, too. Oh. Ah, it's also a uh, Milet. Tell me, okay. Oh man, oh man! I hope Kingu like Kingu makes the the right decision here. Why does that kid look like Shiro? Ah, oh, see, did he? You know, I feel like um, even even though I didn't like get as close, I don't know if you get like more scenes with CDD when you play. Even though I feel like um, I didn't really get to develop like much of a personal attachment to CDD, that when they just show you shit like this, you just can't help but be like, man, you you can just like just picture like all her time spent with Gilgamesh and in Kilu before, and and you just felt the weight of that whenever she just. Finally, she got the opportunity to save Kingu and, and say that to him, but as if he was in Kilu, which really fucked with him. But may have not been in vain, because he may make the right decision here when it comes to, like, confronting Tiamud and, you know, he's examining, like, what's really going on. You know, more than just, like, being a puppet of Tiamud. Like, what does he, like, really believe? And what does he do with the feelings he has that he's retained from um, in Kilu's, I guess, form? That even though are not really his memories uh, and his recognition of like CDD and, and Gilgamesh, but who knows, man? I hope he makes the right choice. He might he might find re redemption yet, um, because we're gonna need all the help we can get coming up, because we're going straight to the source, just going straight to Tiamat, the uh, the big bad wife who herself she did look very cute when they did the zoom in, of course, um.
yeah, I wonder if she's gonna talk to them or if like she's just gonna completely like fuck with them or if she's just gonna be like, "Why are you talking to me? This simply needs needs to happen because I am Tiamat and screw you. Like, this is my will or so, some I don't know something like that." But uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Again, the Lamu are, are so creepy. They're I I really love them. Um, I love how creepy they are. I love how like fucked up their voices are it's like the, the the demonic voice where you have like low pitch high pitch at the same time and you play together it sounds demonic and, and especially in their laugh it's like you really like get that like weird like when they laugh it's like ugh. but uh yeah i'm glad that they subtitled them this episode um and uh yeah just showed even more that yeah they just love seeing humans get killed and you know if you try to get in their way of that um they call you boring and the the fact that they thought that even Kiru, they were like hey you're defective you're not like us you know you're and now they're they're treating him like he's um like his perspective on like the old humans so it, it kind of flipped on him because now he's like an old human to them he's like the prototype of them right so it's like you know that's another thing because <laughs> if the Lamu hadn't done that to him you know it wouldn't but I guess they needed to get the Holy Grail for Tiamat, so they were going to do that anyway. Which I guess explains why they just did that, did that in the first place, but, you know. Yeah, they were not fucking with Kingu, so. Again, hopefully that's the thing that happens with him uh, teaming up with us, and maybe even with Gilgamesh, if Gil Gilgamesh makes a move. But uh, again, the people need their king, the people that are left anyway. Um, the Lamu are encroaching on Uruk, so hopefully, you know, our company of Ritsuka, Ritsuka, Mashu, and our goddesses can uh can do some work here. Because, yeah, they're just going to be killed. Dark Ushiwakamaru. I've been really, like, trying to, like, predict this, like, a few times throughout the past episodes. And I think I just kind of dropped it after a while because I was like, well, it hasn't happened yet. And with it, things happening last ep episode, I was like, huh, I guess, you know. Uh, my focus was all on that, but it, they busted her out this episode, and though it wasn't, like, a very, um, a very difficult fight, like, she didn't, you know, re really unleash on them, but, you know, she was crazy trouble, um, I mean, uh, Ritsuka had to power up Ishtari, and, you know, Ketz was keeping him busy, um, even when they defeated her, she ca came back, you know, because, she, I guess, through having the same property as the Lamu, she was able to multiply, so... Just through uh, their gift from Tiamat. So it was like they had to destroy the cores. So they did that. They took took her out. And and I, I, I think what I liked most about that. Of course it's just like cool to see the result of that. And to see like Ushi again. Even if it's in a fucked up way. Um, but I think it was cool. Most cool what she said at the end. Which is like. like she's like who knows. I, I may be. Might have wanted to do this anyway. There is a dark part of me that hated humanity and wanted to kill more than anything. So it was like, wow, fucking fair enough. And it, I guess it just goes to show like what happens to you when uh, you get corrupted by the mud. You know, it's the dar darkest aspects of you made uh, brought to the surface, made uh, truthful, I guess. Um, but yeah. I, I think that's actually actually it so um oh fuck these hiccups man i gotta end this recording <laughs> I, I can't keep hiccuping on the mic here so um i guess that's it uh it's pretty cool that things are still rolling you know we're we're getting into this new arc of wildness because who knows if we're gonna get a crazy fight with tiamut so uh um that might be a thing i don't know i don't know what to expect especially that we have so many episodes left like what more could happen, you know, if they're going straight straight to Tiamut right now? Like, things are pretty dire. The ocean's rising, and, and the mud is, like, what's, like, coming into land and going over everything. I don't know. Maybe they're not going to use the full, like, 24-episode, 25-episode slot. I, I don't know. But, hey, maybe there's just more to happen in this singularity than I... I'm expecting, even with this twist. Maybe there's another twist or something. I don't know. But uh, either way, man, I you know, they're going to get through this. You know, we're going to make it to Solomon. I, 
it's just uh, it's cool to see like how it's gonna happen and all the, like the cool things and enjoying like the fights you know if, you know the choreography and uh the relationships between everyone i think that's the main thing just like seeing the interactions with everyone and like I guess seeing where that turns out. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, enjoy enjoying this new twist, and I'm going to stop hiccuping now. So if you want early access to these reactions, I stay up to date on Patreon with these when they drop. So um, if you want to check to see if the latest one is up, um, feel free to check. And if you want to support the ch support the channel, that's $5 a month, and you get to early access to everything I do. You can see my Nier Automata full streams, participate in polls that I post. Um uh, Excuse me. I think by the, by the time I post this, there is a anime poll going on on my Patreon. So if you even want to vote in that, that uh, you can only pledge a dollar, and you can uh, vote in that. So and that's that. This vote is going to be up for like the rest of the week. I think I'm going to have it from Sunday to Sunday, and I think I'm going to drop this episode like um, uh, within the week, if not right before I drop that poll. So uh, yeah, uh, check it out if you want. If you want, as always, thank you for watching. I'm going to figure out a way to get rid of these damn hiccups because I am getting tired of this. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.